Late night snacking is actually pretty common, not just in the world as a whole, but it seems to be very common from the people that I speak to with their own businesses. Entrepreneurs, stressful business owners that just want to hustle and push their business to the next level. If you've ever been the sort of person where you're working on your business, it gets later and later and you want that project to finish so you keep pushing, you keep pushing, chances are that you've snapped a little bit. Chances are you've fallen off a little bit. Now, what is actually happening in your body? It's cool for people to say, yes, just do intermittent fasting and eat all your calories in the evening, but when you've woke up during the day and you've given your business loads of decisions, you've made loads of decisions, there's only a certain amount of decisions that you can make before your stress levels go a bit through the roof and your ability to make good decisions lowers. And when it gets to the evening, this seems to be your diet that gets impacted. You go for sugary foods because you're tired, you're stressed, your brain tells you you want them, but how do you get this to stop? How? The first one is to lower your stress levels. The second one is to just go to sleep. But is that really something you can do? Let's look into it. What actually happens? Well, you end up working until 11, 12, 1, 2 a.m. Then look to go straight to sleep. And you may still sleep for six, seven, eight hours without waking up. Great. But just because you're sleeping, just because your head has hit that pillow and your eyes have shut and you've gone into a state of unconsciousness, doesn't mean your body is regenerating. Your body is recovering. You're getting that deep level of sleep that is going to allow you to thrive and wake up the next day feeling refreshed and feeling ready to take on the world as such. And yeah, I get it. Some days, some days you will feel a little bit worse than others. It's called being a human. I do that as well. But you can help yourself. And this is going to start the night before. If you are working late, you are going to need a deadline. It takes discipline to do this. And you can say you haven't got the time to do it. However, once you start getting into the routine and actually allow your body to thrive, allow your body to recover well with sleep, you're going to get more done in less time because your focus, your energy, your brain function is going to be better. You are going to be more productive and more effective, more efficient as a result. Going to bed and just going, switching off and going straight to bed is going to be the thing that stops you getting into this deep sleep. You're exposing yourself to a lot of blue light. Yes, you could have blue light blockers, some blue light filter and glasses, these sorts of things. You could have a filter on your computer screen. However, you are still having that daily stress which hits you from the office, from the workplace, from your business. We need to relax and recharge. You can get an evening routine where you switch things off, you meditate, you do some hypnosis, you do some breathing, you have a bath, whatever it is. Get into a routine and have, say, 30, 40, 50, even an hour worth of tech-free time where you go to bed, you read a book, let the melatonin start to build up and fall asleep naturally. Now, when you wake up and you haven't had this refreshed level of sleep, you haven't got into the depths of sleep which is going to allow your body to recover, you may need a nap during the day. Then... When you get tired again in the evening, you're just going to crave more food. However, if you can switch off, if you can allow your body to produce melatonin better, if you can allow your body to de-stress by actually getting the recovery it needs in your sleep, your late night cravings are going to be a thing of the past. There are going to be other things you can do. You can simply have food out of the house. But honestly, if someone tells you to have food out of the house, then they probably haven't had late night snack into the level that I used to have. Because some of the time, I would just go out and get the food if I didn't have it in the house. It was that bad. But when I actually got things focused, when I started respecting myself to the level to go to bed at the right time, wake up at the right time, get food in at the right time, stop eating an hour, two hours before bed, and actually switch things off, start reading the book that wasn't business related before bed, 
it allowed me to get deeper sleep. It allowed my body to start recovering. It allowed me to stop this late night craving. Now this isn't gonna happen overnight. I mean, it could, but accountability is gonna be one of the big things that's gonna help you. Because I know so many people that run a business and they pop a pill with some alcohol in order to get their sleep. And yes, they are sleeping, but they're not recovering. They're not thriving. They're not allowing their body to deal with that stress and it piles up and it piles up and it piles up and you break. Now if you need that accountability, if you need someone to speak to you about the plan that you need, you have to have in your life to thrive and allow your business to build to the level you want it to be, to allow your business to be sustainable. Because if your body isn't sustainable, your business is nowhere near being sustainable, let alone scalable. If you need that person to speak to you, drop me a message, go to revitalization blueprint forward slash let's talk and we can have a conversation just to see if you're a fit. Because if you're not ready to change, now if you're not ready to put in the input, if you're not ready to invest in yourself, it's not going to be the thing for you. But if you're tired of being sick and tired, drop me a message and we can get your business to the level it needs to be. We can get your body where it needs to be. We can get your relationships, get your mental health, your mindset, and your entire life to where you deserve to be. I look forward to speaking to you soon.